ladies and gentlemen, before we get everything started here, I uh, must start out with a sip of Chardonnay. Mm. Divine. Now a quick word from our West Coast Regional Director. Just a little shout out to the Pines Cup fam. Sorry I can't be there with y'all this weekend. Uh, drink some beers for me. Go Team Ross. You know, how at your boy. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> the Pines Cup News Show has begun. Happy New Year to you all. I sure hope everyone had a great holiday season. Merry Christmas. You know, and a Happy New Year, of course. But anyways... Let's get down to the gritty. We have the Founding Fathers Winter Invitational 2014 on the agenda this weekend. So I thought you'd bring you a little news show here just to fill you in on what's been going on and 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 everything Pines Cup. The first thing on the agenda this evening in the Pines Cup Weekly News Show is our first ever lifetime ban from the Pines Cup. Unfortunately, folks, we had the Founding Fathers Invitational set up and we actually had we actually had some disciplinary action that became prominent and, you know, the the executive committee swept in, handled it very discreetly. Uh, they they did a very good job in keeping this out of the media, uh, but we felt very compelled to bring you this story this week as it is very important to make sure that people know, you know, when you mess with the Pines Cup, you know, you're messing with history, you know, you're messing with greatness, and, I mean, you're messing with tradition. And, you know, Donald doesn't like that. No, nobody likes it. Nobody likes it. And so, with that said, we, we had to issue a lifetime ban to this man, um, Coming on your screen right now, Mr. Wes Schwank. And uh, here is a picture of Wes, courtesy of Facebook.com. Uh, but you know, it's not like he hasn't been told before not to mess with the Pines Cup. Here you can see myself, yours truly, telling him, don't mess around with this guy. It's it's a pretty big deal. And uh, apparently, you know, he didn't take it that way. And, um, you know, now he's got the monkey on his back here, folks. And, and I'm just not sure how he's going to get rid of that because he needs a unanimous vote to lift his lifetime ban from the executive committee. And I, I'll be honest with you guys, I, I just I just don't see it happening. Wow. You know, it's it's a sad story, folks. And and, you know, it it only gets better. But, you know, back to the West thing. It's just it's just disappointing, you know. A lot of effort, a, a lot of time, a lot of money, a lot of resources. They go into these Pines Cup sanctioned events, and you know, to mess around and and do things like Mr. Schwenk has done, you know, which we won't mention what what happened. And, and you know, it's like I said, the executive committee handled this secretively. They did a great job, I think. You know, in dealing with one of their first ever, you know standing in the face of adversity here. I, I think they did a great job. Uh, I'd like to commend Leighton Schwab and Will Carpenter, number one, for stepping up and and just taking the reins on this and, and making sure that the right thing was done. And, and I do feel like the lifetime ban is the right thing. He's got a 12-month probation on all Pines Cup sanctioned events, non-Pines Cup, you know, obviously the lifetime ban on that. Um but yeah, you know, so hey, you know, one man's junk is another man's treasure. And that brings us to our next segment here, folks. We've got somebody to replace Mr. Schwenk. And I, I'm going to go ahead and, and tell you about this guy. His name is Chris Neal, folks. Chris Neal. So here's a picture of Chris Neal, again, courtesy of Facebook.com. As you can tell, he quite resembles Walker, Texas Ranger, and I mean, that is something that's been known to go on. That, and he also loves playing Virtua Cop on Sega Saturn. Here's another picture of him with his Pledge Brothers back in college, again, courtesy of Facebook.com. So, you know, Chris brews his own beer. Uh, he's an avid golfer, uh, and he also, as you'll see right here, he's a big fan of one-arm push-ups, especially while smoking cigars. 
Uh, so we'll think he'll be a good addition to the field. Uh, looking forward to seeing Chris on Friday when he gets down or Saturday morning, whenever he can make it. All righty. Chris, I'd, I'd like to extend my personal welcome to you, buddy, to the Founding Fathers Invitational 2014 in the Pines, brought to you by Sports Center in the Pines Cup. Thanks, Chris, for filling in. And um, listen, man, we, we really look forward to seeing you. You know, it's been a long time for a bunch of us. And, um, you know, everybody knows you. Everybody misses you. Everybody's looking forward to seeing you. Um, and, and so, you know, I'd like to just go ahead and, and segue here to what our teams are going to be for the event. So, with that said, we got Chris Neal. He's going to join up with Team Donald, two time Pines Cup champions. Uh, that is Robert Will Carpenter with Chris Neal and Joe Berger. And they are going to be taking on Team Ross, which consists of, of course, Leighton Schwab, one-time Pines Cup champion, Jadaquis, another one-time Pines Cup champion, 2012. And they'll be playing along with Doug Andrews and Dustin Lubertazzi. Now, you guys might be asking, who in the hell is Dustin Lubertazzi? Well, let me tell you, folks. I met Dustin Lubertazzi a couple years ago, and, and we became really, really good friends based solely on golf. I mean, he's a nice guy. I like him and everything. But, I mean, where we really connect is on the golf course. And uh, he, he's a really good guy. He's a, he's a low handicap. Uh, he tries to pretend he's a high handicap, but he's not. Um, so he won't be getting any kind of preferential treatment here at the Founding Fathers Invitational. Um, you know, we're, we're really happy uh, that we've got uh, one of our members, Leighton Schwab, to hook us up with the tee times this weekend. So just so you know, we, will, we do have the first two tee times of the day at CCNC, 8 o'clock and 8, 10 a.m. Uh, possible snow the night before. we got a low of 25, possible frost delay. So I don't see us really going out at 8 a.m. It might be a little after that. But, you know, again, thanks to Leighton for getting us out. And um, everybody should be looking forward to it. Bring your layers because you're going to need them. And uh, what I'd like to go ahead and lay out to you guys next is exactly what kind of format we are going to be playing. The 2014 Founding Fathers Invitational format is, is going to be a little bit different than, than what everybody's used to. We're going to start out in the morning where... Team Donald and Team Ross are going to face off against each other. They're going to play in their own foursomes. We're going to do a best ball format where you're going to take your team's best two scores, pit those against the other team's best two scores, and it'll be a match play event. So, with that said, we got one point available in the morning. And then in the afternoon, we're going to turn around and move off of the Dogwood course over onto the Cardo course. Bermuda Greens installed a couple years ago. Top notch. I mean, top notch, folks. Just absolutely some of the best golf in the Sandhills. Believe it or not, we're going to be playing two of the top ten courses in the state. And, and, and I'm telling you, you folks that have never been out here to Country Club of North Carolina, you, you're, in for, you're in for a real treat. And, you know, we're going to have the singles matches there on the Cardinal course in the afternoon. We're going to have four total points there. I'm sorry, I, I can't release the matchups right now, um, and I can't tell you exactly how they're going to be determined um, and, and how the handicaps are going to be determined, but we have all that lined up. Uh, we've got a fair matchup. We think everything is going to work out perfectly, and, and everybody's going to really enjoy their, themselves all weekend. It's just going to be a great time. Donald Ross is going to be there. I mean, can we just get a round of applause for Donald? I mean, come on. It doesn't get much better than this, you know? I mean, it doesn't get much better. So with that said, folks, I'm going to go ahead and end this Pines Cup weekly news show. We're really proud to bring you this a couple times a year whenever we get the chance and, and looking forward to seeing everybody this weekend at CCNC and, and over at Pine Needles. Uh, just in case everybody was wondering, uh, the plan is we're going to try to meet up at Pine Needles Lodge and Bar uh, on Friday when you arrive. Just go ahead and head on up that way. We'll have dinner up there, a few drinks before we head back to the house that we have and, and uh, get the party started. Uh, it looks like we're going to get a little maybe 30 to an hour extra sleep time. So 
enjoy yourselves and and don't hold back especially you mr andrews <laughs> pies cup <laughs>